Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Chris out in the Caliente Garage. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install uh, Carryock and Trailer Hitch 7676. We're gonna be putting it on Mark's Honda Goldwing GL1800. When he purchased his Goldwing, it already had the wiring kit already installed. As you guys know from keeping up with my videos, his wiring kit actually shorted out. The fuse had blown, so the fuse had did its job and it prevented the uh, wiring kit from starting a fire. But we're gonna be replacing this worn uh, trailer wiring kit with the Karyakin 7676 that Mark picked up. We're gonna be installing it on his bike. He already has the trailer input. We're gonna see if we can tie into it so we don't have to buy Karyakin 3230. So if we can tie into his existing uh, wiring, we won't have to purchase Karyakin 3230 and we're gonna install Karyakin uh, 7676. So stay tuned to this video, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is remove the side panel off the Honda Goldwing, and you wanna disconnect the negative and the positive terminal on the motorcycle. But since Mark already has wiring that goes to his Goldwing from his previous installation, we're gonna just tie into some of the existing wiring. We have the fuse removed out of the the fuse holder so we're not going to have any power coming through you can actually see where the negative you see where it burnt off so we're going to go ahead and cut it about right here so this is going to be our negative the black is going to be the negative and the red is gonna be the positive. We already have it uh, on the go wing. Okay, yeah. this should be the, the input side of the uh, trailer wiring kit. Uh, when you buy, when you guys purchase the 7676, you're gonna have to purchase the separate kit 3230. So this is 7676. Mark already has 3230 already tied on the bike. So we're gonna tie into his his input side of the trailer wiring. Yeah. Looking at the 7676, you're gonna have this line is gonna feed out the back of the bike. It's the one with the six wires. It's gonna feed out the back of the bike, okay? This white one is gonna be the input. So you would usually connect the separate kit 3230 on the Honda Goldwing, and that's gonna bring the power in to the uh, relay box. This is gonna be feeding off the battery. The black is the negative, the red is the positive, and then this one here with the blue cap on it, that's gonna be an accessory wire. So if you wanna tie in a, uh, an additional uh, dome light inside of your trailer for the six wire, this is gonna be the six wire. So if you, you can either have a five wire or a six wire. If you wanna have a six wire, you're gonna connect this one to a power source. Otherwise, you're gonna just have, you're gonna just use five wires that are coming out the back. You follow what I'm saying? So in your case, you're gonna have five wires coming out the back, right? Okay, but it gives you an optional six wire if you had a, a dome light in your trailer, okay? So to hook up the additional dome light or the six wire, it'll be this blue one with the cap on it. If you notice, if you look, at the back of the wire, it's, it's the same wire. You follow me? So, okay, your bike is gonna, okay, your bike is gonna look like this. It's gonna have five wires coming out of the, the back of your bike for your plug, okay? If you look at the, the wires that's gonna be coming out the back of your bike, you're gonna tie these to your five, right? So you're gonna have five, and five. This sixth one is if you have a a six wire terminal. So in your case, you have a five wire, but some people may have a six wire. Like on my going, I have a six round. So I have that extra wire tied into it. So that's optional, right? So five wires is standard and you have the six wires optional. And this is what your plug is gonna look like. The five wire coming out the back of the bike. So if you're gonna hook up that six wire, you're gonna power it over here. 
okay? This relay box has to have power. So you're gonna have your negative, you're gonna have your positive coming out the battery. If you wanna hook up the six wire, you gotta power that too. And if you power that in, it's gonna power on this end. If you're not gonna run the six wire, then don't connect this one. That's why they got it capped off. So it looks like your colors are different on this end. So what I may have to do is cut the ends off and wire them directly because looking at it on this end, if I peel the wires back, the top wire on the left is blue and the top wire on the right is brown. In this case, your colors are different. So this may not be a karaokean kit. This may be a Bush Tech or a different brand, but I'm gonna verify it by looking at your existing colors. Okay, so if you look the way they had it, they got brown on the bottom, brown on the bottom, blue, which is blue, green on the top, and yellow. Yeah. Yellow is left turn, blue, I mean yellow is left turn, green is right turn, brown is tail lights, and blue is brakes. So it looks like what we're gonna have to do, since we didn't buy kit 3230, we're gonna have to cut this and make them line up because right now the colors are not lining up. I'm gonna cut the I'm gonna cut the uh, the harness off of here and then I'm gonna uh, tie my fuse test and I'm gonna verify that the lights are uh, lined up properly. So I'm gonna remove. We can't use these anymore. Okay. Okay, yellow is normally left turn. Green is normally right turn. Brown is normally your tail lights. And blue is normally your brakes. Okay, that's coming off the input side of the gold wing. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna verify that my fuse test is working. When I touch the battery, it's gonna light up. Okay, that, that means I got power. Okay. Okay, so now I cut off the the input harness that was on your bike. I'm gonna plug it up and I wanna verify what each color means. I just wanna make sure because the harness that's on here is not karaoke and I think it's a bush tag, but it's the same, it's pretty much the same concept. We just don't want these wires to touch. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the input side that was currently on your bike. Okay, so now, okay, so what I want you to do for me, I want to make sure these wires don't touch or we're going to have another problem. Okay, what I want you to do is just turn on the, turn on the ignition. Once you turn on the ignition, the brown wire should light up. Well, uh, I thought it would. Unless they have. Hit your, hit your flashers. Okay, there's your right turn. I mean your left turn. I don't know why is that doing that. That should be flashing like this one. All right, stop it. All right, now hit hit the brake. Okay, that off. That should be lit up like normal. See, that's, that's your left turn. Turn on your left turn. Okay, turn it off. Hit the flashers. Okay, you cut the bike off.
your stuff that's hooked up, is it hooked up correctly? <laughs> Okay, first thing we want to do is get kit 3230 plugged in. I'm going to show you guys where to connect it on the gold wing. It's going to be on the right side. It's going to be kit 3230. So basically what has to happen, kit 3230 is going to bring power from the gold wing and it's going to bring it to the kit 7676. So this is a bridge. Once we connect this, this is going to give us the trailer wiring. So on the side of the gold wing, you want to look for a fat harness. It's going to be dug in on the right side. It's, it's up under there. On the right side, it's kind of wedged in. It's got this, it's covered by this rubber boot. You want to be careful. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to slide this rubber boot back. And that's what you're going to be after. Got a lot of dust in here. Press that tab down. See that tab? Yeah. No, no. I, mean, I need this. I want you to. Okay. Press that tab down. Can you? Can you? Uh, yeah. Okay. And while the tab is down, I'm just gonna kind of stick in me a flat screwdriver, kind of wedge it out a little bit. Okay. Let me flip it over. Okay, now we got it disconnected. In your kit, you're gonna have some dielectric grease, anti-corrosion. Just wanna add a little bit of grease, make it easier to remove. Okay. Snap that into place. I'm gonna do the same to the other end. And all this is doing is taking the connection from the go wing and sending it to the trailer. Okay, you see how I put that in? And this is going to be, you're going to take the input from the 7676 and connect it to the 3230. And this adapter here is going to be for 3230. So you're going to actually plug one in. Like so. On 7676, it says input from vehicle okay and this is coming from 3230 you're going to plug those two together and this is going to supply the power to the trailer lights for the trailer so basically what i'm doing is removing the old wiring that was on the go in the old trailer wiring that was blowed out so basically what we're going to do since there's already a spot where the wiring runs along the Left side of the gold wing, this is the old trailer wiring that was on the bike. I'm going to tie the new trailer wiring to this end and I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to feed it and use it as a fish hook. So I can go ahead and disconnect these wires.
That's that's the old burnt trailer converter box that was on here. So now we want to find the end with the six wires. And this is going to go out the back of the gold wing. So since we have wires already uh, running down the right side of the bike, I'm going to see if we can connect them and pull them through. That will make the job a lot easier. I'm hoping if this works, I don't have to worry about trying to fish hook it down the back side of the bike or the right side of the bike. Now that would be the left side. Okay, now I'm gonna slowly feed the wiring. I'm gonna pull this in and hope that we can slowly feed it. So basically what I did was use the existing wiring that we removed from the bike. I, I tied the 7676 to that existing trailer wiring and just fed it down the left side of the bike. Made my work a lot easier. And so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the five wires. Green is right turn, yellow is left turn, blue is brakes, white is ground, brown is tail lights. This would be your optional six wires. So if you connect the black and red wire near the battery to the terminal, then it's gonna power it back here. But since you're only gonna have a five wire setup, we're not gonna connect the six wire. It'll be there, but we're not gonna connect it. So, and, and while we have the, so now while we have the five wires coming from the bike, Let's say you had a four wire. So if you got a four wire, so if you was gonna hook up a Can-Am trailer or a standard four wire trailer, what would you do at this point? You can take Show Chrome, you can take this kit from Show Chrome and it'll tell you right on the front how to connect it. This is a five to a four wire converter. You're gonna have five wires coming in and it's gonna come out four wires. You follow me? So. If I was gonna hook this up for a can am I would go ahead and tie in my five wires over here. I can mount the box back here underneath the bike, and this would be the plug that'll feed the can am trailer. So for you guys that's got the can am trailers, you're gonna need, if you have five wires, you're gonna need the five to a four converter because the can am is a, uh, it's a four wire trailer. And it, and don't get caught up in the colors because if you look at the colors, right turn on here is blue, but normally blue represents brakes. On here it shows the brakes red. Normally red, normally brakes are blue. It's showing left turn orange. Normally orange, I mean normally left turn would be yellow. Running is brown, so it has brown and in ground, they're using the color green. So don't get caught up in the color. That's why you have to use a circuit tester if you don't know what each wire represents. So basically, you're gonna be hooking up the right turn, brakes, left, running, and ground to each wire that's coming out the back of the trailer. But you can't look at the colors. You just have to know which uh, wire represents each function. So if you guys got the Can-Am trailer, a five wire coming out the bike, you're gonna need this converter box. But in Mark's case, he's not gonna need this converter box. We're gonna be saving this for a Can-Am trailer a little bit later. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, strip the wires in the back. Mark, you got any questions? No, I'm just looking at them tires over there. He could have, he could have sold to them. <laughs> <laughs> Is it tired? I get no, that's what my what am I gonna have? I said, You mind? <laughs> you can use electrical tape. I like to use heat strength tubing. Makes 
for a more uh, waterproof seal. this and that thing. So we got the blue connected, that's the brakes. Uh, white would be your ground. too far. So they got these little tips on here. It makes it harder to, they got the tips sorted. That makes it hard. You're teaching me a lot. <laughs> well, like I say, you, because well, I know the colors, but yeah. depends on who wire it. Because if somebody don't know the color they may just wire it up any kind of way so i know i know carry off and got it wired correctly on the colors so i can go right to right left to left break to break ground to ground and so on So we're gonna leave the six wire disconnected. So if you had a six pin round or a six wire trailer, then you wanna connect that six wire. But in your case, or Mark's case, he got a five wire. So we're gonna leave the six wire disconnected. Can you put one of your rubber thing on the end of that red one so it don't just gonna accidentally bump something and it's not even, we're not even going to connect it. See, it's, it's optional. You connect it at the other end. Oh. 
so okay. we're not even going to connect it. So it's not hot? No, it's not hot, but to be on the safe side, well, it's just, I'm going to cut that off of there. So we know that six wire is in there. So if you ever need it, you just know you got a six wire in there. So you may get a, you may get in a situation where you want to put some um, some lights on the switch. Mm -hmm. So let's say you want to put a dome light or some lights on your trailer that you want to throw on with a switch. You'll use that six wire for that. So now we got one end going out to the trailer. Okay, this end is going to connect to the bike itself. Okay. The other end is going to tie in from the trailer wiring from uh, kit 3230. So now, and again, uh, I know I'm uh, sound like a broken record, but this is the six wire. So if you wanted to connect the six wire, we're going to tie in. They, they both go to the positive side of the, of the, uh, of the battery. Now what has to happen, we're going to crimp these together. Okay, so that's going to supply the battery power to the converter box. Okay. Better get low. On what? This camera. Oh, don't worry about it. We'll just let it run to it shut off. So that's already connected. Um, that's for your Here heated you gear. I just want to double check, make sure my screw, make sure my connections are tight. That's tight. That's tight. So what I want to do now, I just want to just verify that the trailer wiring, uh, that the 3230 output uh, is correct. So I'm gonna, I hooked up my fuel tester, and I'm just gonna go through the. Uh, sequence of the signals to just make sure I'm getting a good output before I plug it into kit uh, 7676. So let's see if it's going to do right this time because last time, okay, that means your brown should light up when I touch it just to make sure. Correct. Now I'm going to go um, left turn. So your left turn will be yellow. So when I touch the yellow, it's your flash. Okay. I'm gonna go right turn. Right turn is green. When I touch the green, it should flash with green. That's correct. Okay. 
And Mark, what I want to get you to do for me is we're going to verify that the brakes is working. So go ahead and when you touch the brake, it should light up. Let off. Touch it again. Let off. Okay. Now we can cut the, the bike. goal wing. So kit 3230 basically ties it to the goal wing and it sends a signal out. And we're going to take the trailer wiring and we're going to plug it in. Before I do that, let me put a little dielectric grease on here. Okay, so now we have kit 3230 running into 70, 7676. Just gonna sit this to the side and we're gonna verify that the that the back of the trailer is connected properly. The output. Now we finna check it on the trailer. Yeah. Okay, I put the fuse back in. And the thing I like about this karaoke kit is that the fuse came with the trailer. Came with the kit. So now we got everything plugged in on this side. Let's go. Okay, the one by itself is negative. We're gonna clip our 12 volt circuit tester on the negative. And once I touch the brown, it should light up. That will be the first connector. Okay, so the other plugs will not work at this point. So yellow should be flashing and green. That's yellow, which is uh, left turn, green will be right turn flashing. And now, okay, I want you to go ahead and touch the brake. When you touch the brake, it should light up. Let go. Touch it again. Okay, let go. Okay, looking at the side of the gold wing next to the battery, the fuse for the trailer will be in this little uh, cover. So if he blows a fuse for any reason on his trailer wiring, he don't have to remove the entire seat you can just come to the side of the battery check this little fuse if you want to hook up the six way the six wire just connect those two together okay now we're going to plug in the trailer so if the trailer is wired correctly everything should work properly so mark mark has turned on the trailer Okay, that's your left turn, turn on your right turn. Okay, take it off, hit the brakes. Okay, let off, left turn. Right turn, let off. Hit the brakes, okay. All right, so it is wired correctly. So we just need to put the panel back on the rear of the bike. Again, if you guys was gonna connect a Can-Am trailer, you would run this five, and then your output would be your four. And you can connect it back here somewhere at the end of the bike for you guys that has the uh, four wire trailers. So this is gonna conclude the video on how to install Karaoke Kit 7676 and 3230. If you guys have any questions or any comments, feel free to put it down in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is your boy Chris out in the Caliente Garage showing you how to connect Kit 3230 to 7676. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya. All right, go ahead and do it now. Turn on your, your signals and everything. Do the brakes.